We're here at the IIS meeting, and we're here with Linda Gell Becker, who is the, working with the Desmond Tutu uh, Research Center, and also uh, president-elect of the IIS Society. We appreciate her taking the time to visit with us. Um, I guess there's so much that was said already to by people, especially from this area in this co country, but uh, maybe you could give us a little sense of the practice, the way it's changed in, in uh, treatment today, because there's so much happening. I know that one of the things that was stepping out to me is the fact that they're trying to merge the, uh, the diseases into one visit rather than having come back on Thursday for the, the uh, diabetes, on Monday for HIV, and Wednesday for, for uh, uh, TB. It just seems redundant. Correct. So, you know, I think what we're learning, there are two things we're learning. One, people are more likely to stick in, in treatment programs if it's easy, if, if it's convenient and if it works for their lives. So it's clear that we as healthcare professionals need to make it easy. And then secondly, the health systems do better if it's convenient and it's easy and, and you know, things come together. So this conference has highlighted and we actually launched a thing called Differentiated Models of Care. Uh, which really is exploring ways that we can be more efficient and be client-centered. Um, so really pay attention to the individual who's at the heart of taking the treatment and make the system work better for them. So you're absolutely right, asking someone to come back on this day for this service and that day for that service is designed to put them off. And that's particularly true for adolescents and that's why within the adolescent youth group we have to pay attention to integration of services and you know and I think it can be done it it just needs a little bit of organization within the health services and a bit of a paradigm shift uh, but I think it can be done and 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 the nice thing is this conference has begun to showcase where this is happening and it's not only relevant to this region there's beautiful work being done integrating TB HIV and hip hepatitis, um, IDU, HIV and hepatitis in different parts of the world and so those best practices need to be shared. And the other thing is, I, think, I don't know if this has been addressed, but women and their, their infants as well. Absolutely, so you know I think we, we, in the last 16 years we've shown in mother to child prevention that if you come with a very holistic approach there and especially young, young mothers, their lives are very busy and they fall out of the system if we don't make it easy for them. So we try to pay attention to the fact like th they'll need to come into the services for immunization, they'll need to come into the services for some postnatal care. How do we make sure that we're not bringing them back more often than is needed? And I think we, treatment has taught us that and we should take that into the primary prevention world as well. So when we design our prep programs, pre-exposure prophylaxis programs, we should do it from the get-go rather than, you know, have to mo modify the system down the pike. What do you feel was the biggest challenge that you felt was unmet maybe at the conference here that maybe you could have seen more of or seen it and it wasn't really here? Uh, you know, I think we struggle to bring tuberculosis into the HIV world more tangibly. I think we tried very hard and I think we did well especially with the pre-conference, was a right. wonderful, was wonderful TV yeah. pre-conference. But maybe it didn't come all the way into the main... Com it, it did pretty well, but it, I think we could do better. I think we did much, much better in having adolescent and youth voices. But again, I think we could improve that. Um, and otherwise, I'm pretty pleased, actually. I think we... You know, I think we've touched on very key and important issues this week and, and I'm hearing from delegates that they are re-energized and, you know, that's the job of this conference. We, we have to get back on the road for two years and start moving really very systematically towards the end of AIDS. But there is much work to be done. I, I, I can't say any more than that. You've said it right on. That's my message this year too. Great. I really hope that you do so much good being in the position you are, and I, I believe you will. Thank you, Fred. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for your time. You time. Indeed, Amsterdam. Here yes. we come. Yes, I will be there. Good.